you, Mr. Spode. How can I help you? Uh, we spoke on the phone earlier. You're representing my husband, Martin Fowler. Martin Fowler. Yes, here he is. He's second up, so half an hour or so. Can I see him? Sorry. I don't make the rules. He will get off, though, won't he? He's pleading guilty, so he's never going to get off. No, but I mean, he won't go to prison or anything. Assaulting a police officer in the execution of his duties. No offence for 15 years. If the beak's in a good mood, might get a conditional discharge. Stiff fine, if not. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thanks. You'll see just the one previous conviction, a matter long since spent. Tragically, on this occasion, Mr. Fowler found himself caught up in events not of his own making and quite beyond his control. You will have noted the timely guilty plea and give him the usual credit for that. <laughs> he recognises that assaulting a police officer is a serious offence, but given the exceptional circumstances, I'd crave your indulgence in this matter, sir, and ask that my client be granted a conditional discharge for a period you see fit. He is married with three children. Indeed, his wife is here to support him today. I'd ask that you let him return to his family and resume his law-abiding existence. We'll withdraw to consider sentence. All rise. We have listened carefully to the arguments set out today. It is this court's belief that the mitigation outlined by Mr. Spode is convincing. However, the police are the last bastion of a civilized society against anarchy. And from everything we've heard this morning, they behaved impeccably in every respect. It's our duty as upholders of the law to send out a clear signal to others who might contemplate behaving similarly. Taking all this into account, we feel that an appropriate sentence is one of four weeks. Two to be served in custody and two on license. You will have to pay the usual victim surcharge, but there will be no additional costs or compensation due to the immediate custodial sentence. Take him down.